hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to perform data migration using alembic and through sql alchemy sql alchemy will be the package that will communicate with our database and through sql alchemy alembic will perform all the database migration so let's learn how to perform data migration using alembic through sql alchemy so i have uh, open terminal to the folder where the code is now the first thing i'll do is that i'll create a virtual environment using python 3 hyphen m venv venv meanwhile i would like to show you my model i have a simple user model with id username hash password uh, email created at is deleted and is verified so this is uh, i think uh, sample boilerplate code for sql alchemy now once the environment is created i'll activate my virtual environment and the next thing i'll do is i'll pip install through uh, requirements.txt file once all the requirement is done what i'll do is that i'll initialize the alembic so alembic in it alembic you can give any name to you know your alembic folder but i'll choose alembic when i run that command you will see that here a folder alembic is created and alembic.ini is created so we need to perform two steps first in this alembic.ini file there will be sql alchemy.url here you need to write your url so i have my url with me i'll copy that i'll come back here and i'll paste my url so i hope you understand that i'm using my sql so i'm using this dialect but in case you are using postgres sql or any other database you need to provide your dialect here followed by your credential to the database so i will save this now i will go to alembic and there will be env.py file here you will see that there is target metadata is equals to none so what i'll do is that from my model i will import my user base and here in a list format i'll provide all my base metadata so you can understand that i have one model so i'm just providing my user base metadata but let's say you have five models you provide all the five uh, models metadata here so i will save this and i'll close this and here in my uh, mysql workbench if i refresh this you will see that i have alembic test db created which has no table at this point i'll refresh it one more time now once we have initialized the alembic package and updated our alembic ini file and env.py file what we need to do we need to run the command alembic revision auto generate hyphen m and your comment uh, i'll say added user table and i'll hit enter so it will create the upgrade and downgrade files in the versions you can see here okay upgrade and downgrade 
files now uh, the last thing i'll need to do is that i need to run the upgrade lm big upgrade head and this will push all the changes into the database so if i refresh this yeah you can see here my users table is here and if i uh, run that you will see that all the columns are there so this is how you can manage migration to the database so that you know you don't run into any uh, database error that this database is not there or this column doesn't match with the you know current version of the model so i guess you have gain some knowledge out of this video and before we move forward i would like to show my github repository where you can find the code uh, the link of this repository is in the description and in case you use this please consider giving it a star that helps further i have prepared this uh, tutorial using alembic and sql alchemy official documentation so in case you want to get more help you can always go to alembic and sql alchemy official uh, documentation again i hope this video has you know provided you some knowledge and if it does help you please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace